hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Marcia, and i'm back again with another video today we are doing something extra different i haven't done this thing here on my channel before but sometimes i make my own caps myself and i decided to share this super detailed way of doing my own wake up with you let's get into it i got this diy wake up from the market i got it on the market i think i got it from best hair deals and it was super affordable i think i got it at eight cities also so they've already given you that you pass where your closure will fall but i don't know if i'm going to end up cutting it i can't tell i'm going to be showing you my needles that i've already threaded i mean this is not a difficult thing to do and i don't like running out of thread and coming back to do another one so i have four already done and that's what i'm going to be using i have my tape measure which i'm going to be using to measure the back of the dummy head and i have in place of t pins i have my office pins yeah you know your girl likes to improvise so yeah and this does the work as well and i have this milk pencil that was supposed to be for makeup but it can draw yeah and i have my pair of scissors for cutting and my hair clips for holding the hair down this is the hair i got i got this hair from pretty hair store at small color market and i don't even know how to pronounce this hair let me try and see lemerant i don't know if i'm right but <laughs> correct me in the comment section down below this is a full pack of four bundles and one closure and i got this in 22 inches that was it was kind of affordable so i decided why not let me just buy it so this is how the hair looks out of the pack and it's super soft i hope it doesn't shed <laughs> The hair looked really really nice and i was glad i got it i hope it comes out well anyway so let's get into it this is how the closure looks out of the pack and it was so neat nicely and it had three parts um how do i even say it yeah it had three parts one in the middle one on the left side and the other on the right side so whichever way you want to style it was ready for you so first off, I'm going to pin the closure on the U part of the cup. That's what I went ahead to do first, to secure it only before I go in to even sew it. So yeah, I'm securing it down with my um, office pins. Hold it down, make sure there's no space in between them or there's no air in between them. Where you can really have a nice outcome so that's what i'm doing right now so once the pinning is done i'm going to hold the closure up put it in a pony to prevent the hair strands from getting in the way when i start sewing everything i'm going to go ahead and sew everything down and I'm going to start from my right side to make it easier for me. So I'm giving you an up close on how I'm doing it. It's very simple. It's just like sewing a torn dress or something. So I'm going to take from, from the closure, hold it to the cup and secure it by passing the thread through the loop. Yes, passing the thread through the loop. I'm going to demonstrate it for you to see. So, so that's what I'm doing right there. It's, it helps secure the hair to the cup very well. So if you're able to weave it very well, you should arrive at this result. So once this is done, I'm going to secure the tip of the closure to the cup very well and cut off my excess thread then i'm done with the closure now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to mark out the closure on the cup just in case i'm done and then i want to cut it out i can just see where exactly to cut then i go ahead and use my measuring tape i'm going to mark it an inch interval i'm going to follow these tracks for the sewing so that I don't miss out and everything becomes as neat as possible. So let's go ahead 
and draw them to the sides, both sides of the wig cup. So here's my first bundle that I'm going to install on the cup. It's 22 inches, like I said, from the beginning. So let's go ahead and start with the wig. So I had to pin it down to see how it's going to look and I actually doubled my weave. I doubled it so that I'll have a heavier look. I also decided not to cut my weft so I tried as much as possible not to. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to cut but I ended up cutting because I couldn't turn around it to the next track so I had to cut it. At this point, I wanted to know how the closure would look on the hair, so I decided to bring the closure down and comb it on the hair to see how what the outcome would be like. So yeah, this is it. And I had two more tracks to go. After everything was done, I needed that elastic band usually in in a wake up and i had to improvise so i cut it out of my hair net and this is how my results look like this is how my sewings look like very neat i was even surprised at how neat everything was and like i said the way i showed you if you follow it that's how you end up so i attached the elastic band to it to hold the hair i usually put it on my head before i wear the cap and yeah i had to cut it out you remember i said it from the beginning that i may cut off the u part so yes i'm cutting it who likes black showing underneath their closure nobody so yes this is the outcome after cutting it and i followed the track that i used then i went ahead and straightened my hair in sessions it wasn't easy at this point i was very very tired but i just had to get done with it when i start i don't like to stop i like to finish before everything so i went ahead put my wax on it and then straightened it um at a degree of i think 230 yes the straightener was at 230 i wasn't really feeling the middle part so i decided to do my own part in it and then turn everything so after doing it i sprayed it with a holding spray to hold the style that i've done i've actually done and yeah this is how the side part came and was very very beautiful trust me i don't know if they forgive me for my dummy i know my dummy hasn't taken her bath but she's looking very pretty anyways because she has a hair done and this is the side part that i went in for but later i decided to go in for the middle part so i did the middle part i scarfed it for i think about a day and then i removed it and this was the outcome so i just wanted to go ahead and show you how the hair looked on my head actually and here the lightning is bad you know why because my ring light all of a sudden went off and it wasn't even turning on i didn't know what to do again i had to take it to the repair so, so this is why i end my video thank you all for watching i'll see you in another video bye